I'm Scott Nifong, I'm the prop master on Bonnie and Clyde. The guns are definitely part of the character. They're actually a character in the movie, just like the cars. Really, it's everything from vintage glasses like these, from the fountain pens that we use, their ink pens. Everything really is goes back to 1930 or before. So everything is really unique to the movie. You do what we say, just be another good story to tell you about is at the Moose Lodge. A Browning automatic rifle. They came out before World War II, but they used them in World War II. It fires a 30-06 round, a 20-round clip. It's a cannon. So this is the Thompson machine gun that we used. The police used a lot of these to fire back at them. Frank Hammer used them as well. But Clyde preferred really more of the BAR, it was more of his weapon of choice. Their clothes, their guns, it's memorabilia, Ted. There's a whole network out there. You get as much notoriety as those two, their stuff will sell for hundreds, thousands. I have a couple of weapons that Frank Hamer used. Frank Hamer used a gun called Old Lucky. What it was is a, a single action Colt. He had it nickel plated and he put a horseshoe on it. All right, give me all your cash. We have a bunch of these that we use. Model 1911. Clyde used them, uh, Hamer used them, Ted used them, and Clyde was caught with, I think he had like five or six of these when he was killed. Bonnie and Clyde basically got whatever they could basically steal or find. So whenever they held up a liquor store or took police officers hostage or whatever, they took their guns, and a lot of times that was a 38. Would you please get out of my house? And then, of course, we have the, the famous shotgun that we see in all the scenes. This is where Bonnie has her shotgun. And it's been sawed off and cut. Don't mess with Bonnie and Claude. The best thing about what I do, I think, is the people. Um, I love the script, and I get excited for a new script and a new story. I love reading pages and seeing it come to life and actually being a part of that, going and researching it and actually getting the props and the weapons and stuff like that and actually bringing it to life. It's magical. We're movie makers and they're kind of rare out there now, but we're still here.